This is my iPhone 14 Pro Max, and after more than two years of constant use, it has a battery health of 92%, which I think is pretty good. But it made me wonder, is it possible to maintain a battery health of 100% forever, or at least hold on to it for as long as possible? The problem is that when it comes to battery health, there are a wide range of claims and falsehoods floating around. So in this video, I'm going to investigate five such claims and falsehoods to separate fact from fiction. The first claim is that fast charging is bad for your battery. The premise underlying this claim stems from the fact that heat is the enemy of your battery's health and fast charging does generate heat. When your battery heats up, it increases the chemical aging of the lithium ion material inside it. This has the effect of reducing your battery health. Battery health is the approach that Apple uses to measure the maximum charge your battery can hold compared to when it was new. For example, my iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 4300 milliamp hour battery. This is the amount of charge it was manufactured to hold. But based on the current battery health of 92%, the battery can only hold just over 3900 milliamp hours of charge. The good news here is that Apple's fast charging is designed with thermal management in mind. Your iPhone ramps up power quickly till the battery charges up to 80% and then slows down the charge to reduce heat for that final 20%. It's not the wild west like some Android phones out there charging at 120 watts or more. For example, the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus charges at a eye-watering, blazing fast 120 watts and claims a full charge in just over 20 minutes. But that much power does heat up the battery quite a bit. Apple caps their fast charging at 27 watts on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is on the conservative side of the fast charging spectrum. So go ahead and fast charge your iPhone. Just make sure that the power adapter you are using meets the minimum specifications for your device. The second claim is that overnight charging is bad for your battery. When it comes to overnight charging, the same overheating claim comes into play. The claim is that by charging overnight, you're overcharging and damaging the battery. But here's the truth. Your iPhone is smart enough to prevent overcharging. When the battery hits 100% charge, it simply stops charging. And on newer iPhones, there's a feature called optimized battery charging, which learns from your daily routine and delays charging past 80% until you actually need it. That means if you wake up at 7 a.m., your iPhone charges up to 80% and sits there for most of the night and then tops up to 100% just before you need it. That's a incredibly useful feature. To enable it, go to settings, battery, battery health and charging, and toggle the option for optimized battery charging. If you have an iPhone 15 or newer model, you can go one step further. Under settings, battery and charging, set the charge limit to 80%. This setting is an alternative to optimized battery charging. It literally stops your battery from charging past 80%, and doing this can really slow down battery aging. A few other steps you can take if you want to reduce heat during charging are not charging your phone under your pillow or a blanket, removing thick cases if your phone starts to feel extra warm while charging, and using certified or original Apple chargers. In summary, both fast charging and overnight charging when done properly is not a battery killer. The third claim is that you should always charge up to 100% or that partial charging is bad for your battery. This one seems logical. A fully charged phone is a longer lasting phone, right? Well, not in terms of battery health. Charging to a 100% every single time can cause wear and tear on your phone faster. Think of your phone like a kitchen sponge. If you constantly stretch it to its absolute limit and wring it out every single time, it wears out faster. Your iPhone battery works the same way. Charging from zero to 100% every single day adds wear and tear to the battery's chemical structure. Apple tracks this wear and tear on the battery with a metric called cycle count. In iOS, charging from 0 to 100% or any combination of partial charges that adds up to 100% counts as one cycle count. For example, charging your phone by 50% on Monday and another 50% on Tuesday equates to one charge cycle. 
According to Apple, batteries of iPhone 14 models and earlier are designed to retain 80% of their original capacity at 500 complete charge cycles under ideal conditions, and batteries of iPhone 15 and newer models are designed to retain 80% of their original capacity at 1000 complete charge cycles under ideal conditions. The more charge cycles you go through, the faster your battery health drops. For comparison, my iPhone 14 Pro Max has just under 500 charge cycles but still has 92% battery health. This just proves that while batteries inevitably degrade, that rate of degradation can be controlled. Here's the trick to slowing down that rate. Stick to charging between 20 and 80% charge. And here's why. Lithium ion batteries age faster when they're kept at high voltages for longer periods of time. And 100% charge means high voltage. You don't have to be obsessive about it, but if you're at your desk all day long or charging overnight, enabling the 80% charge limit on iPhone 15 or newer models is a great option. And if you're using an older iPhone, enabling optimized battery charging helps too. It won't cap the charge at 80%, but it delays charging to 100% until you need it. The secret to my battery health is that I almost never allow my battery to charge above 80% or dip below 20%. Most of my charge cycles were completed within the 20 to 80% range. In summary, charging up to 100% always is not good. In fact, partial charging between 20 and 80% can actually prolong your battery health. This brings me to the fourth claim, which is that it's better to use your iPhone while plugged into the charger. On paper, this sounds reasonable. If it's plugged in, the battery isn't working as hard, right? Well, again, not quite. Charging your phone generates heat. Using your phone also generates heat. When you're doing both at the same time, like scrolling Instagram, watching videos or gaming or whatnot, you're stacking multiple heat sources. Your power management system is juggling multiple tasks, like charging the battery, powering the screen, running background processes, all at once. This puts more strain on your hardware and keeps temperatures at a higher elevated level for longer. And heat is the enemy of your battery. So my recommendation is that when you charge your iPhone, just let it be. The fifth and final claim is that battery health drops after software updates. It almost happens like clockwork. Every time Apple releases a software update for the iPhone, it's usually followed by a steady stream of complaints about how the battery health dropped after the update. I am here to tell you that this is absolutely not the case. Software updates don't harm your battery. Here's why. Your iPhone uses software to estimate battery health, and no two batteries are exactly alike. There are manufacturing tolerances in play here. For example, my 14 Pro Max's battery has a manufactured capacity of just under 4300 milliamp hours, which is slightly below Apple's spec. When you update iOS, your iPhone will recalibrate the battery. That means that the percentage figure can change to reflect the reality of your battery's health more accurately. And so if it goes down or gets worse, it's not that your battery actually got worse after the update. Also, right after an update, your phone runs background indexing and a bunch of other setup tasks that temporarily drain your battery faster, which might give you the illusion that something is wrong with your battery, when in fact it's just doing a bunch of things required by that particular update. Updating your iPhone is important because not only does it patch up security issues, which keeps your iPhone safe from viruses and malware, some updates actually improve the software side of the power management system. This can ironically extend the life of your battery. In summary, don't skip updates. So circling back to the question from the start of this video, can you maintain your battery health at 100% indefinitely? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Lithium ion batteries chemically age. The laws of physics dictate that your battery will degrade. But that doesn't mean that you can't slow down the rate of that degradation. With simple habits like using optimized charging, partial charging, installing updates, and avoiding overheating, you can keep your battery healthy for years. With 92% battery health and just under 500 charge cycles, my 14 Pro Max is proof that this is possible. So there you have it. Some battery-related myths busted and put to bed. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.